Hey everyone, welcome back. Hope you all had a really good Christmas and enjoyed your New Year's Eve party. Just want to wish you all a very, very happy New Year. So it's my first video on YouTube for 2017 and how I came about it is pretty much I was decluttering over this Christmas and New Year's period because I've been collecting so many makeup products and there's so many things that I haven't been using for a long time and I thought if I haven't been using it for a long time either I need to st start getting back into it or just literally get rid of it either throw it away or give it to somebody else who's going to make most of it um so one thing I came across is this and this is the crushed metallic pigment and this is in the shade called pretty fied and when I first got this I loved it and I was using it constantly for either on myself or on my clients because it is such a nice sort of taupey colour with silver glitter flecks in it. It's really, really nice, perfect for party season as well. Um, but for a good few months, I've stopped using it and it's not because I didn't like it. It's just because there's so many other products and eyeshadows that were out that I actually forgot about it. So I thought, why not bring this back out again and do a look using this crushed pigment. So if you want to see how I created this look using this uh, crushed pigment, then please keep watching. So first of all, I'm just applying this seaweed serum by the body shop and it just helps to blot out the oils from my face. And then I'm going in and applying some moisture to my lips. And for that, I'm taking this lip stain uh, primer by OCC and then going on to my lids. So for that, I'm using the Urban Decay Original Primer Potion and then neutralizing my eyelids with this Stila Illuminating Highlighter or Concealer. Um, and this just helps to reduce the uh, pigmentation on my eyelids. And then I will be setting it with my Ben Nye Banana Powder. And you can use any powder, it just helps the eyeshadows to blend nicely. Taking this Juvia's Place um, eyeshadow palette, I'm taking that highlight shade and using it to highlight my brow bone. And then in the same palette, I'm taking this soft brown color and using that as my transition color. And I'm applying quite a heavy amount and working the product um, up towards my brow bone as well because I wanted to cover quite a lot of the surface. I'm taking this shadow by MAC and it's called Antiqued and I'm using a smaller fluffy brush and applying it to the crease again just to kind of create more of a depth to my eye socket area. To deepen the area even more I'm taking this shadow by Morphe and it's called Stashed um, and I'm taking an even smaller brush and this is the Urban Decay E211 brush and just applying it literally in the crease line. Taking the same palette again, I'm taking this brown shade, which is the darkest color in the same palette. And again, using the same E211 brush, I'm applying that to the crease again. Now, time for this gorgeous crushed metal um, pigment. And what I've done is just taken some on the lid and I'm pushing my MAC concealer brush into the pigment so the product gets really nicely packed in the brush and applying it to the whole of my eyelids. And then it's time for the eyeliner and yes you guys have guessed it it's my inglot black gel liner which is going to be my all-time favorite eyeliner or my gel liner especially so i'm just creating like a flick and then i'm um, working the product towards the center of my eyes then for my face i'm just priming it with the l'oreal infallible primer and i haven't been using this for a while so i thought let me get this back out again as well and for my foundation i'm using the abh foundation stick and this is in the shade called caramel so i'm literally drawing patterns on my face with this stick and then using my morphe m439 brush just to buff it all out and i have spritzed it with the mac fix plus spray Moving on to trying to combat the darkness under my eyes, I'm using the NYX color corrector and this is the peach one. And then going over the top of that with my Too Faced Born This Way concealer. And this is in the shade called Medium and I'm literally applying it to the usual areas of my face that I like to conceal and highlight, which is under my eyes, um, down the bridge of my nose, a little bit on my forehead, along my cupid's bow and under the areas where I'd normally contour. And I'm just using my damp beauty blender sponge just to help blend everything away really nicely. 
Moving on to my cream contour, I'm taking this foundation by Cryolan and it's their ultra foundation in the shade GT2 and I'm applying it to the areas that I like to contour. So that's the hollows of my cheeks, down the bridge of my nose, the tip of my nose, along my jawline and along my hairline on my forehead. And then I'm just using the same damp beauty blender sponge just to help blend everything away. Then it's time for baking and for that I'm taking my Ben Nye banana powder and the same same <laughs> same beauty blender sponge just to um, pack on the powder onto the areas that I like to bake so whilst everything's baking I'm using my ABH dip brow pomade and this is in the shade called ebony and I'm just applying that to my brows with my flat uh, eyebrow brush or my angled eyebrow brush and then to line my lower waterline I'm taking the perversion eye pencil by urban decay which again is a favorite of mine Going back to the Juvia's Place palette again, I'm taking that soft brown colour that I initially used along my crease and I'm just helping to blend that lower lash line away so it's not looking too harsh. Then taking the stashed eyeshadow again by Morphe, I'm using my E211 brush and just sort of creating like a smoky eye effect underneath my eyes. Then it's time to brush off all the excess powder from the baking. So I'm literally just using one of my Morphe soft brushes and just literally wiping everything away. Then for bronzing, I'm taking my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer and just applying it to the hollows of my cheeks before I move on to contour. And for that, I'm taking Harmony by MAC, which I haven't used for a long, long time. And I'm not actually sure if I've used it in any of my videos. So I thought, let me bring this back out as well. Um, and I'm just literally applying it to the areas that I like to contour. So that's the hollows of my cheeks, along my jawline, down the sides of my nose. I'm just literally flattening the brush so it's easier. Tip of my nose and along my hairline. For blush, I'm taking the 108 blush by Kiko, and this is one of their older ones. And I'm actually missing their older blush range because I find that the new ones aren't the same. But anyway, moving on to highlight, I'm taking this Wet n Wild highlight called Bruisey Brunch, and it's such a nice gold affected sort of highlight. So I'm just setting all my makeup in place with my Urban Decay setting spray before moving on to my lashes and the mascara I'm using is the Revlon Ultimate All-in-One Mascara and I'm just applying that to my top and lower lashes and I think I did a couple of coats of this. Then moving on to my lips, I'm using the Colourpop Liquid Lipstick and this is in the shade called Beeper which is a really nice sort of browny colour. It sets a lot darker once it dries up but I wanted to go for more of a shine so I'm taking this Flormar Super Shine Lip Gloss and this is in the shade called Bronze Statue which is really really nice and shiny. Moving on to my lashes, I'm taking the Eldora False Lashes and this is in the shade called M103 which is one of my new favourite um, shapes because it just looks so natural and it's just so easy to apply. So that is the look complete guys. I'm going to come close so you guys can see the full look just want to say these lashes that I got from Eldora false lashes um, I think they're the shape M103 they are so nice they actually look really natural but yet really really complete the look so I think I will be getting more of these I only got one when I placed an order um, last week just because I wanted to test it and see how it is. The only downfall to these lashes I would say is that it's got thick lash band um, but it doesn't bother me. I mean I love it. It's really really nice. Definitely will be getting more for myself and also for my clients too. So I hope you guys like this video. Please do thumbs up if you do and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video.